In Creo Parametric, you can create notes as part of model-based definition. In part four of our series, we're going to take a look at five different ways of modifying your notes. First, adding to and removing from a combination state. Here's a mistake I commonly make. I'll open up my model. I decide that I want to throw in a new note. Let's go to the annotate tab. I'm going to make this one flat to screen. Let's click on the note icon and then click where we want to drop it in the graphics area. I'm going to grab a note from file and I have it in there. It's located. Hey, great. But then I realized, oh, wait, I'm on the default all combination state. I don't want this to be on default all. I want it to be on one of my other combination states like four notes. Well, what you can do is go back to the note whatever combination state that it's on, and then you can left click on it. But when you left click on it, it opens up the format tab. You can still activate the annotate tab though. And on the annotate tab, here we have the command to assign to states. I'll click on that. It'll list all the different combination states in my model. You can select one or more combination states using the control key. Then click the OK button. And now that note has been added to the other state. Let me go to combination state four. Hey, there it is on the screen. I like that. Perfect. But now I need to get it off of the default all combination state. Well, to do that, a couple different ways. You can click on the note and then again, the format tab comes up, but you can go to the annotate tab and here is the remove from state command. Or if you hold down the right mouse button in the mini toolbar, here is the same remove from state command. I will click on it and it's no longer in my default all. But if I go to my four notes combination state, hey, there it is on there. Okay, for the second method, we're going to take a look at controlling the visibility of notes with a few different ways. I'll go to my 7a tab and I realize, oh wait, there's this note over here. Ah, I don't want to see it. When I left click on it, there is an icon in the middle toolbar in order to erase the note and I erase it and it's no longer visible. If I go back to my model tree, you can see in the annotation tree at the top that one of the notes is grayed out. If I left click on it, I can see that, oh, okay, that was the one that was saying front view. And if I go to the mini toolbar, here is the icon to unerase it. And then if I left click again, it is visible. Let's take a look at another way of getting it back on the screen. I will click on it and then erase like before. And sometimes you have a lot of annotations and it's hard to go through the list. Another way of getting your erased notes or annotations back is by going to the show annotations icon. And in this case, I want a note. So I'll click on the note tab and then we're going to select an entity like the model in the tree. And I can see, okay, here is one of the ones that is not visible. I can click on it and it checks it in the list of annotations and then click the OK button. And that way I've got that annotation shown in my combination state again. But sometimes you have an annotation or a note and you're like, I just want to get rid of it. I want it gone. In that case, you will delete it. So I can click on it. And then in the mini toolbar, you can see this icon that looks like an X. That means delete. Also, you can use the keyboard shortcut of the delete key. I will click on it and it asks you if you are sure. Yes, I am. I'll click the yes button and now it is gone. All right, for the third one, let's say you have a note and you want to move it to a different plane. Well, I'm going to grab, let's see, what is this one over here? I've got the Y0 plane. Let's make that visible. Turn on my datum plane display. See if I can get, can get it. There it is. So now if I want to change the plane that this note is located on, we can left click on it and then hold down the right mouse button. We get the right mouse button menu and here is the option to move to plane. And then I will select the plane that I want. And so it readjusts the position. Let's turn off the datum plane display. And you notice that right now 
the little dot that indicates where the note is to be placed is sort of in the middle of a fillet. Hey, let's click on the note and then you can grab the location of the dot or where the X is and relocate it. And similarly, if I click on the note, we can grab it. Oops, missed it a little bit. We can grab it and then drag it so it appears off of the model. And right now you see a whole bunch of different things highlighted. That's because I added all those different semantic references to that note. So it made the screen a little bright. Another way of changing the way that your different objects look on the screen is by changing their orientation. So for example, here I have the mask surfaces note. I can click on it and then right mouse click and hold. And here is the option to change the orientation. And we can see the reference plane that it is using. Let me rotate the model and I can say that no, instead of that plane, I want to use this one. Be aware that you also have options for a named model orientation if you happen to know what which one of your saved model orientations that you want to use there is a flat to screen option but generally i find the easiest is to select the reference that i want to use now in this particular case you can see that the letters appear backwards the way that i currently have my model oriented so in this case we could choose to flip the viewing direction that looks good you also have the ability to change the angle. So for example, I could say, let's rotate this by 180 degrees. Nope, that's wrong. Let's change back to zero. And also in here, there are options to freeze the annotation plane reference. So for example, if something happens to that reference surface, the annotation, this particular note will not fail. And so let's click the OK button. Oh yeah, there's also a button to select an existing annotation if you want to use an existing note in order to define the orientation of this particular note. So let's click the OK button and then I can grab this and when I go to drag it, it automatically adjusts where the leader appears. And now for the last modification method that we're going to take a look at in this video, changing a note type. So here we have this Y note on the screen. And right now it's located directly on model geometry. I decide that it would look better if it had a leader. And so here is the change note type option. So unattached note, well, that'll make it a free floating note. And right now it is on item, but I will choose to add a leader and then I can select the leader where I want it. And then as I move my mouse, it adjusts the elbow and, and in essence, the location of the note. Let me middle mouse button in order to locate it where I want it to appear. And now I've got it adjusted the way that I want. So there you have it, five different ways of modifying your notes as part of model-based definition in Creo Parametric.